Well, from one dark, depressing, and thought-provoking anime, we now reach Death Parade. Pretty much along the same vein, isn't it? Because, well, it's all about judging the weight of your soul, and if you are truly, uh, well, if you have any evil inherent in you, or, or if some of the games bring it out, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, story plot there. The arbiters really don't know what's going on at this point, do they? Are their games and judgments... Well, are they just? Or is it just one big fallacy? Pretty much like any real decision in our lives. There are levels of grey to everything. And no matter what you would do, you will always have someone complain about it. That's one of the things that I've definitely learned in life. But ultimately, it is just a fun way of looking at, well, psychology and, well, just humans in general, I guess. So, let's have another trip down the rabbit hole. Let's start with Death Parade. Yep, his snazzy little mind-reading beard. Mm-hmm. And knowing the fragility of life. Yeah. Uh, something that play quite a big factor in a lot of things, isn't it? So, was that, like, her entire life condensed into, uh, essentially a, a painting? I'm guessing made of all the different elements of her memories or something. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen the uh, Dance Dance Revolution arcade machines. It is so upbeat and fun. Maybe just to kind of put you at unease about what's about to happen. But also at the same time telling you just, you know, enjoy life. It's not fun always being pissed off. You can take that from me. Oh god, her again. Oh, I forgot about that, yes. It's just his likeness put into a mannequin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't... Don't put things softly, do you, Ginty? Was this his way of trying to get rid of her? <laughs> Self-sacrifice? <laughs> and she might be too idiotic to really understand what's going on, but... Not great, but if you like peace and quiet, then maybe. <laughs> you know, if you can stand being with yourself for all eternity. Well, 
I might need to know some information on that guy, though. I'm guessing this is his test for her, isn't it? Should try and fully, finally get rid of her. Because he can't believe that people can be altruistic and nice. So that's her history. Hmm. Well, yes. I mean, for the most part, especially if you, like, in this situation where you know you, you've died, and relatively un young, I should say, then yeah, you, you want to experience a bit more, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's forcing her hands there. I yeah. How good of a person is she even when faced with um throwing someone under the bus for Harada? I mean we know that in their game Part of the reason that she kind of sacrificed herself was to, you know, so that he could be spared. Also, remember, she was really didn't want to uh, relieve herself in front of him. Memento Mori. We all die. And it's good to remember that. Oh, this is her first, yeah. When she knew she was dead. She remembers dying, she doesn't remember how. Of course, it's got to be an issue with the uh, Bureau. Damn bureaucrats. And that's the start of her knowing that something in her little plan there was going to work. Remember, she doesn't have much time left in this bar, does she? Ah, because, what was it, Shavo, or Shavot, whatever, she was on the ice in that book, she became a figure skater. <laughs> and she carried that passion into her adult life. 
if only I had that kind of I'm just going to say it again, that kind of passion to actually care about something for so long. The fact that he has such precise movements over that is just tantamount to his skill. Is he getting them all to interact with this? This is surprisingly elegant, isn't it? I'm guessing this is her final farewell, isn't it? We're going to get the answer. And we're running through her life. Is Deckham getting shared like memories of this as well? I've got to appreciate just the this musical score of this as well. I don't know if it's an actual piece or not, or if it was just scored for this. And it's still showing the you know the flakes where her body is becoming is separating from the mannequin. I'm waiting for the disaster. We know it's going to come, but... For, a... for this small amount of time, she can enjoy herself again. And let the memories flow of her previous life. I wonder how many competitions she actually went to. We, we know she had quite a few trophies and stuff. She had some sort of ligament injury. Lost the ability to skate. And then do more. That's what Ginty's been saying, isn't it? Is it really coming down to that? If I'm correct. It was self induced, if you know what I mean. Hmm. She become disassociated with everything because her meaning was lost. I 
I mean, I've always struggled to understand this line of thinking because I've never experienced it myself. Not to this extent. But I know it happens and is very troubling. And this is when it all hits her, isn't it? Mm -hmm. However, the skating was like a catalyst for everything or something. She lost meaning in everything that she once knew, yeah, but I don't get the line of thinking there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't agree to that, but... So her, yes, ambivalence, <laughs> the fact that he never shows emotion adds weight to his words there, I think. In a brief time together, yeah. She has rubbed off on him in ways that, you know, don't even make sense in terms of arbiters. Deckin being a bartender again. Yes. Hmm. It's a sink way of putting it. Make the most of everything. Find meaning meaning in your life. And live to that meaning. As long as you don't hurt others. What has he done and why? So... Did she press the button? I'm going to probably say yes. (laughs) 
Is she clueless though? Sometimes it is as simple as that. Sometimes you don't know why. I know it conflicts with what I just said, but... So she, yeah, she found a meaning, and it her meaning was him. You bastard. I can't even get it, because if you press the button, but you bastard. So everyone that goes to the void experiences that flaking of everything. That's adding extra insult to injury, isn't it? That's who was there. <laughs> so she could be happy even with a life of uh, the void now, can't she? <laughs> An endless eternity of falling, but together, and that's what she wanted. So she won in the end, even if it was the void. Fuck you, Ginty. <laughs> the issue with the Arbiter's not understanding human emotion is that how can they be a force for truly just judgment if sure Deccan doesn't understand but Ginty seems fully well he's got full animosity to humans hasn't he so why is he still allowed to stay in that kind of position but yeah poor Harada he's actually got to spend eternity with her who's the true loser in this situation uh, I, it would be easy to condemn Ginty for his decision there, but it played by the rules. She condemned herself. That is the game. Just because the game is wrong. We're having the spanner in the works right at the end. Of course we do. Great. So he's plan planning to gain some information there as well, is he? So I'm guessing Dekem has installed her own her old memories into um, another mannequin and is going to judge her again. Is he going to use the previous ways of doing like playing the game, or is he going to use his almost newfound understanding, or well, however slight it is, of emotions and how? nuanced it can all be. The humans smile when they're happy and cry when they're sad. So how can you smile while crying? I wonder. How can you? And even when you don't understand your own emotions, then how can you explain it to other people? Especially those that have no understanding of emotion. Ugh. 
This is all very, very interesting and quite thought provoking. And I haven't heard the term memento mori in some time. It is both something that you should always kind of think about, while also don't really delve too deep in it because, well, that's some hole you might not want to uncover if you're not you know, prepared. I would like to give some oversight and some opinions on Skater Girl, but I don't think I'm qualified to, and I don't want to dilute the meaning of her story with the ill-conceived notions of what I believe, so I'm going to let that stand on its own merits. Although now I kind of know what they mean. It's like everything just seems a shadow of its former self and any former enjoyment or care they had for stuff it just doesn't isn't there. I wish I'd known it years ago, but it's never too late to learn. Maybe we can help people in the future now that we've had some sort of understanding of this kind of mindset. So if you do know anyone that is suffering then I don't know what to suggest. I can give you my half-hearted attempts <laughs> on some level. Feelings like that are transient for the most part. And I know some of it, I'm not sure exactly how much, is chemical imbalances in your brain. You can get some sort of treatment for that, but This is why humanity and being human is difficult. <laughs> Probably why I've adopted this whole don't let anything phase or upset you. Not to any massive degree. Because life is harsh, life is cruel, unjust, and you have to make the best of it, and you can't do that while wallowing. That's what worked for me, it won't work for a lot of people, I know that. So, all I can do is hope for the best for everyone out there. And wish you'd show me the same courtesy if I was ever in that position. But even now, in its incredibly slight bit of help it may be, I will be here. So, get some rest, and hopefully, I see you for the next one.